VC YouTube, how's it going? What I'm talking about right now is one of my favorite albums by this band. It's probably my favorite studio album by this band. The band is The Grateful Dead, and the album is Terrapin Station. Now, Caleb over at Good Music Choice, which I think y'all should subscribe to. He's doing album reviews, uh, Kiss album reviews. He did this album. That's what kind of like, you know, I haven't listened to this in a while. I said, it's time I need to pull this back out. And um, I'll go ahead and put his link to his page um, at the bottom in the comics section. So y'all go over there and check it out and subscribe and, um, you know, check him out. He's got some cool reviews. Um, like I said, this is my favorite studio. I guess my favorite album overall by The Grateful Dead would probably be Europe, 72. But as far as studio goes, this is hands down. This is the best. Um, starting with the cover, this is a fantastic album cover. I've always liked the turtles there. I think that's really cool. And... Um, the title song, Terrapin Station, is absolutely incredible. It's an amazing song. Um, very progressive. Uh, it, it's, it's almost like prog rock uh, for the Grateful Dead. Um, it, it's just absolutely incredible. I would encourage everybody to check that out. The studio version, you know, live, it's, it, it's not bad live, but the studio version you get more out of, I think, because there's just a lot of different things going on throughout the entire song. It takes up the entire, the entire uh, album side, uh, side two. It's uh, well worth your time to check out. Um, Side one, estimated profit. It's okay. It's not too bad. Um, I'm not a huge fan of estimated profit, but I certainly don't hate it. Samson and Delilah is great. I like that a lot. Passenger is a great rock and roll song. I mean, that's something that really cuts loose, and it's really, really cool. I've always liked Passenger. Dancing in the Streets, I'm going to go ahead and take Pigpen's version of Dancing in the Street over this one. Um, when they did this, and um, what was, I think it's one of the dick pics. It's either volume... I think it's volume five um, of in 1970. Um, that dancing in the streets is is just fantastic. I like the early dancing in the streets right on this one here. It's just a little uh, I don't know. I, I can do without that one on on here. And um, sunrise. Eh, it's a Donna song. It's okay. And I think the guy you were talking about, um, Caleb. I, I think that's uh, Keith Godchecks. He died um, a couple of years after this album was made. And um, this is um this is a great record, man. I, I, I really like this album a lot. Like I said uh, a couple of times, this is hands down my favorite Studio Dead album. And um, the 1977 or yeah, the 1977 tour uh, is is one of the best by the Grateful Dead. Um, you know their shows, from an honest point of view, their shows were kind of hit or miss. They, they their shows were either absolutely amazing or they were just terrible. You know, having an off night. And um, some of the ones that I would suggest that you check out, you got to go with uh, February 26, 77. That's the first show of the tour. It's the first Terrapin Station they played live. Usually Terrapin Station, the song was in the second set, occasionally as an encore, but usually it was somewhere in the second set. Uh, the first appearance on February 26, 1977, it opens the show. Uh, really good show. I would definitely check that out. And if you're looking for cool sites to check this out, check out Setlist Program. Um, that's where you can look up anything about the Grateful Dead. It, it, it's it, it's really a cool site. Um, probably the most famous show of certainly the most famous show of this tour, and probably one of the most famous um, shows in um, the Grateful Dead's history and, and, and all their concerts is May 8th, 1977 in Cordell University. Um, just an absolute amazing show. Um, it, it's one of the most popular and rightfully so. It, it's, it's an absolute great concert. Everybody's on. Bob Weir is just, uh, is, some of his guitar work is amazing. Same with, of course, Jerry Garcia. And uh, Phil Lesh is holding it all down. It, it, it's really well worth checking out. Um, the second set, to me, is really the highlight. That, it's, that's probably my favorite second set. Uh, starts off with Scarlet Begolia's goes into Fire on the Mountain, goes into Estimate a Prophet, goes into St. Stephen, goes into Not Fade Away, and finally closes with Morning Dew. All run together. It, it's it's all absolutely amazing. Absolutely check that out. That's May 8th, 1977 at Cornell University. And another one that I think is well worth checking out is um, um, 9377 in Englishtown, New Jersey. Um, it's, it, it's got a few good surprises in it, but if you check out one from this, definitely check out May 8th, 77. It's absolutely well worth your time. As always, thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.